Hello, my name is Polina Potskova, and I will introduce to you our international project called Vocal Notes, investigating perceptual ambiguity through differences in expert transcriptions of vocal performances in different cultures. What is a note in vocal music? Look at the fundamental frequency curve of a vocal performance. Can you see the onset? If we think of a note as an entity which has an onset, a duration and a single pitch, how do listeners segment a continuous audio stream of singing, producing these fundamental frequency squiggles, into units? It turns out we are not very consistent. Our segmentations do not agree well. This is what we found in a preliminary study. Two experts transcribed a corpus of Russian traditional singing, and their transcriptions were so different that they sometimes ended up with different modes. It was clear that most of the discrepancies in transcriptions were not errors. They were reflections of differences in perception. That finding led us to the research questions. Do experts disagree in a similar way in different vocal traditions and repertoires? Can we formalize the contexts which lead to disagreement in transcriptions? What are the limits of the note concept for analyzing different vocal traditions and repertoires? Five teams researched their own repertoires. Chinese Bangzi Opera, Japanese Minyo, Russian Traditional Village Polyphony, Alpine Yodel, and Jewish Romania Chant. In each team, two or sometimes three expert listeners from this culture independently transcribed 10 minutes of real life vocal performances. We then systematically compared our transcriptions within teams looking for contexts which led to disagreements. Further, we synthesized common themes across teams. I will open our symposium with a short introduction to the project, outlining challenges and methodology. Then, four teams will present their work. After that, I will summarize our main findings and themes across teams. We will wrap up with 20 minutes of discussion and questions from the floor. We would like to invite you to re-examine with us perceptual affordances in singing voice and how they affect the notion of note in vocal performances. When I presented the original idea at the outset of the project to my fellow computer scientists, Professor Simon Dixon from the Center for Digital Music at QMUL looked at it and said, this can't be done. Not only have we done it, we would like to invite you to join us and to contribute your transcriptions and analysis to the Vocal Notes dataset. Hope to see you at our symposium. Hello everyone, I'm Yu Kun. Uh, so the title of this presentation is Exploring Disagreement in Transcriptions of Chinese Traditional Opera. So transcribing vocal music is a challenging task, particularly when dealing with the unsteady pitch of singing. This difficulty is amplified in musical cultures that rely on oral tradition, where note boundaries are not always unambiguous. Furthermore, Disagreement between pairs on this task can be hard to manage, as human perception of notes is often subtle and subjective. Considering these challenges, we aim to explore the question, how do people perceive notes in different ways? The content of this presentation is split into three parts. Uh, the first one, I will introduce you briefly the Chinese traditional opera background knowledge. And the second one, we will discuss the research method. 
The third one is transcription disagreement analysis. I will show you some typical types of disagreements. After this presentation, you will get a better knowledge on Chinese traditional opera than 90% of Chinese people. And secondly, you will know how we collected the vocal music recordings in Chinese traditional music and how we utilize the softwares to do the transcriptions. And finally, you will know that some typical transcription disagreements we found from our data. We are looking forward to your coming. The Russian team will present their work on modes and their ambiguities. To give you a teaser, I'll give you an example of Russian traditional polyphony displaying what we call shimmering mode. This is a recording of an ensemble of four singers from village Plokhova, Kursk region, southern Russia. Let's listen to the, to the overall recording first. And now let's listen to each singer separately. Another singer. Moving to the next. And another singer. Now let's start again and listen to the scales they use. Da, 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 da. So the lead singer uses a subset of a minor scale. And this singer, da, 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 da. this is a whole tone scale. So they sing in two different scales at the same time in which the tonal centers differ by a semitone. We also found examples where a song gradually moves from one scale to the other and back without a clearly articulated modulation. That got us interested in the question of how the mode is determined by the listener. If you would like to learn more about scales and modes in Russian traditional singing, and what we found based on our vocal notes transcriptions, please join our talk. Hello, my name is Miranda Crowdis. I'm an ethnomusicologist. Much of my research lies at the intersection of Jewish studies and ethnomusicology, and much of my research deals with the sensory and cognitive aspects of music making, and looks at the musical religious experience through phenomenology oriented and embodied perspectives. I'm based at Concordia University in Montreal, Canada, where I hold the research chair in Canadian Jewish Studies. In my paper, I will be talking about the results of the Jewish Romaniot team done by my colleague, Gabriel Zuckerberg and I. The Jewish team explores the affordances of a data set comprised of rare and little researched extant recordings of Romaniot Torah cantillation. The Romaniots are a Jewish community originating in mainland Greece and the surrounding areas and have been extant for the past 2000 years or so. Torah cantillation in Jewish religious ritual practice consists of the chanting of ritual readings in accordance with the, in Hebrew, ta'ameh hamikra, or flavor markers, the symbols that are interpreted in the form of many different variants informed by traditions and geospatial origins. We chose a strategic selection of the biblical recitation of the same biblical text chanted by different Romaniot practitioners.
We chose the text from Genesis 1, verses 1 through 11. So in the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. And Deuteronomy 6, verses 5 through 9, which corresponds to a very important prayer in the Jewish liturgy called the Shema, um, which starts, Hear, O Israel, or Listen, O Israel. Our research yielded many interesting results. For instance, the existence of different idiolects or stylistic differences at the micro level within Jewish Romaniot biblical recitation. I would like to present in my paper some examples of disagreements in these transcriptions of real life performances that reflect perceptual differences between transcribers. My paper will highlight some of these main differences or disagreements according to three main categories. The first category is social and religious. Differences in transcription were motivated by different perceptions based on positionalities within the Jewish religious ritual context. Two, the complexity of transcribing declamation or de declamatory passages. Declamation is sort of um, a spoken variant of, uh, of the Torah cantillation, which is unique to Romagnol practice and highly interesting. Three, different marking strategies or demarcating strategies um, in which the transcribers coped with the complexity of marking the beginnings and the ends of sounds. The project as a whole asks some very important questions, not least how the conceptualization of segmenting music into notes varies across expert transcribers based on their own positionalities areas of expertise and engagement with the musical material. Moreover, Torah cantillation constitutes an array of fascinating sonic worlds of Jewish oral history and exegesis. And I invite you to experience both of these aspects in my talk. Thank you.